Hey everyone, I'm Sammy and welcome to the search for sustainable satisfaction in our foods. Today we're going to be rating the sustainability of three plant-based burger restaurants in LA to see which is truly the most sustainable and best overall. All right, let's start with the absolute worst place we went to first, which was Honey Bee Burger. In terms of dining experience, this place was really not great. Their location was hard to get to and only allowed easy access for DoorDash drivers to pick up food. For anyone who is not working for DoorDash, the pickup was difficult and confusing. We rated this a 4 out of 10. However, the restaurant was very clean, which took away a little bit of the negativity from the dining experience. We gave their cleanliness a 9 out of 10. Finally, the restaurant was comfortable and welcoming with friendly staff, so we rated it an 8 out of 10. This pushed Honey Bee Burger's overall dining experience score to 7 out of 10, which is not great, but also not too bad. Now let's get into the food. What really brought the restaurant down was its taste. The burger itself was scored a 6 out of 10 due to its sweet taste and weird cheese flavor. The fries earned an even worse rating, receiving a 5 out of 10 due to their sogginess and bland flavoring. Again, really not great. Finally, their milkshake was probably their worst feature, earning a 3 out of 10. The milkshake tasted like straight up chocolate powder protein and definitely was not something I'd eat as a dessert. All this put the quality of food score at an overall 4.6 out of 10. Clearly not the best meal. Like the other companies, Honeybee prides itself on having a 100% plant-based menu. Additionally, Honeybee uses both Beyond Burgers and Impossible Burgers to make their vegan entrees, which helps eliminate the emissions that would be regularly produced when making real meat burgers. However, using both Beyond and Impossible is not great in terms of waste and doubles the pollution when it does not need to be doubled. Additionally, Honeybee offers little information about where their products are sourced from, as well as their policies regarding packaging and waste. Because of this lack of transparency, we gave Honeybee Burger a sustainability score of 6 out of 10. Overall, we gave Honeybee Burger a score of 5.8 out of 10, putting it at a solid level for an average burger place, but definitely nothing to write home about and definitely nothing to recommend to a friend. Next, we hit up Monty's Good Burger which, like the name reveals, was good, but definitely not great. Our dining experience here was pretty good. Going to Melrose at any time is always difficult due to the traffic and high volume of people, but finding a parking spot only took about five minutes. We definitely got lucky with parking and still had to walk a considerable distance to get there from our parking spot. Because of this, we rated the accessibility at an 8 out of 10. The restaurant was also pretty clean and felt sterilized. However, the floors could have been slightly cleaner, so we scored the cleanliness of the restaurant a 9 out of 10. Finally, in terms of environment, we gave the restaurant a 10 out of 10, as the space felt welcoming and diverse, and the music was fun. Overall, we gave Monty's an 8 out of 10 for their overall dining experience. Now let's get into the truly important stuff, the quality and taste of the food. We rated the burger an 8.75 out of 10. It had a good texture and pretty good cheese flavor that tasted normal. The bun to topping ratio was good and the sauce was delicious, which helped increase the burger's score. However, the lettuce was awkward, so this deducted some points for us. The fries were good, but we prefer the tater tots, as they had a crunchy and light taste and were super good paired with ranch. We rated these a 9.1, which was slightly better than our rating of the fries. Finally, the worst part of the meal, the milkshake. We rated the milkshake a 6 out of 10. It had a really weird texture and bad aftertaste. This kind of brought the whole meal down a level as we left feeling very unsatisfied and rated Monty's quality of food as a 7.95 overall. So if you end up going to Monty's Good Burger, stop after the main meal. In terms of sustainability, Monty's Good Burger did better than good. Their 100% plant-based menu uses produce from locally sourced organic vendors. These vendors are typically within a 30 mile radius, which is great because it shows the company's commitment to reducing emissions caused by the transportation of products. One of their local vendors is a family-owned business in the area called Follow Your Heart that has been around for 30 years. This shows Monty's commitment to investing in their community as well. Additionally, Monty's uses the Impossible Burger for their burgers, which uses 75 to 80% less environmental resources than animal meat. Finally, Monty's only uses compostable serving products, which is awesome. All of this allows us to give Monty's Good Burger a 9 out of 10 in terms of sustainability. Overall, considering all these aspects, we gave Monty's Good Burger a score of 8.31 out of 10. Finally, we saved the best for last, No Moo Burger. 
In terms of dining experience, we rated the accessibility and location of the restaurant as a 7. Nomo is located on Melrose, which is known for its traffic and difficult parking, so that was a bit annoying, but we were lucky enough to find a parking spot after about 5 minutes. We rated the cleanliness of the restaurant as an 8 out of 10. Everything was pretty clean, and the inside was especially nice. The all-gender bathroom was spotless, which was good, but the outside patio could have been a little cleaner. Finally, we gave Nomu a 9 out of 10 for comfortability, as the place felt very welcoming and had a diverse consumer base as well as a diverse staff. They also had a good playlist, so this bumped up their rating for us, allowing us to rate the overall dining experience as an 8 out of 10. The taste of the food is where Nomu really separated itself from other restaurants. The Nomu burger earned a 9 out of 10 and we highly recommend getting the bacon burger as it was a perfect balance of flavors and delicious all around. We also rated the fries a 9 out of 10 as they were a perfect size with good texture and cooked very well. The fries were also presented nicely and came with a very delicious avocado dipping sauce. Finally, we rated the milkshake a 9 out of 10. The Oreo flavor tasted real and the consistency was great. The milkshake left no aftertaste, which was something we didn't experience with the other milkshakes. Overall, because of all this, Nomu received a rating of 9 out of 10, the highest of all restaurants we evaluated. Sustainability was yet another category that Nomu excelled in, as their products were also locally sourced, reducing the emissions that would arise from shipping products across the country. A lot of Nomu's products are made from scratch which also helps eliminate emissions from shipping and is an added boost for their profit since they're not buying from vendors. In terms of waste, Nomu tries its best to only make food that they know they're going to sell, therefore limiting their food waste. However, sometimes this amount is estimated incorrectly as the restaurant has been seen not having enough food to finish out the day. These waste policies, along with Nomu's reusable packaging policies, help give Nomu an advantage over other companies. Additionally, Nomu donates 10% of all profits to nonprofit organizations in LA, which again shows Nomu's reinvestment in their community. However, Nomu offered little information about which nonprofits it donated to, as well as provided limited information on its reusable packaging policies. Because of all this, Nomu earned a sustainability rating of 8.5 out of 10. Considering all these things, we gave Nomu Burger a high score of 8.6 out of 10 giving it a slight edge over its competitors and giving itself the title of most well-rounded single burger restaurant in Los Angeles, according to me. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys will check out some of these awesome restaurants next time you're in Los Angeles.